keep on getting referred to as honorable <laughs> that that title is only bestowed upon me because the people of pakistan voted we are sitting in this room and uh, and running these facilities because people of pakistan paid their taxes and it is our responsibility to try and ensure that that money is spent honestly prudently and effectively and uh, the auditor general's organization has a vital role to play in that uh, frankly in my opinion uh, that full potential has perhaps not been utilized so far and the impact that the uh, auditor general's uh, reports uh, which should have in shaping policy making has not yet happened and that's something for uh, for all of us to collectively work on uh, but the importance of ensuring fair play the insur uh, the importance of uh, ensuring that every penny of the people is spent uh, honestly is borne out no more clearly uh, than by the actions taken by china in the last decade particularly in the last few years it is a very very it will actually dampen growth and uh, it will not be good for the economy so here is an economy uh, and and i had the privilege of being in uh, in the last decade particularly in the last few years it is a very very it will actually dampen growth and uh, it will not be good for the economy so here is an economy uh, and and i had the privilege of being in uh, dalian a few years back Uh, when the chinese president was speaking and, and i remember the words he used he said we have been growing at 9.9% per annum for 30 years that is a staggering amount of growth but he said we are only beginning to reach the point where we can address the real issues of the people of china and that's why despite all this growth they still felt compelled to run a very very high profile very effective uh, campaign and we were in china recently and we had uh, uh, dinner with the uh, with the vice president uh, who has been a long term uh, colleague of president xi uh, was apparently in exile internal exile uh, and forced labor uh, many many years back during the cultural revolution with president xi and he was sharing with us the steps that they have taken uh, to curb corruption and that's a lesson for all of us uh, and uh, and i'm sure that pakistan is strengthening its institutions uh, and i have a slightly contrarian view uh, to what most pakistanis uh, say in my opinion pakistan's uh, broad movement towards what it takes for a country uh, to be prosperous developed uh, started a few years back and, uh, and nations never travel a linear path you you have this choppy movement because for me the the core of a 21st century modern national uh, economy uh, is an institution based and rule based uh, society and with the lawyers movement in the early 2000 and i know yes we don't like some of the decisions taken by the uh, the chief justice when he got elevated uh, we may even have question marks uh, about him in person But, but forget that and again we might have our uh, question marks about the decisions being taken by the current judiciary or uh, or as the executive uh, often is seen to be cribbing about uh, judicial overreach but i have absolutely no doubt about it that over a long run pakistan will be a better place as a result of this independence of the judiciary and there will be an equilibrium at some point in time uh, where you'll settle down Uh, similarly the institutions like the auditor general's office uh, them becoming strengthened uh, being uh, able to exercise their uh, their authority and their mandate without political interference with effectiveness uh, will lead to a better pakistan and a better pakistani economy and hence uh, the the sharing of knowledge with our friends from china uh, would is a very good step Uh, particularly i was pleased to hear the emphasis on public private partnerships because uh, as you might have uh, heard in my first supplementary uh, finance budget uh, finance bill that uh, 
that is going to be a major area for us for financing development of the nation. The fiscal space is limited for the reasons everybody is aware of. And uh, however, we still want to have uh, robust development work going on and therefore the public-private partnerships will play an important role. We are creating, uh, there is already on paper a public-private partnership authority. Uh, we are in the process of advertising and getting a professional and building up uh, that team. Uh, so that work will become more and more significant and therefore uh, if you are paying attention to that from an audit point of view, I think this is very timely uh, and I am very uh, glad to hear that. Uh, so with that, thank you once again uh, to the Auditor General for inviting me, uh, to our uh, Chinese friends, particularly the Deputy Auditor General. Uh, uh, I, I want to thank them once again for coming over and wish you the best for the exchanges of the couple of days and I hope there will be a fruitful outcome of these deliberations. Thank you very much.